Hey everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a raise floppa game in Roblox. So this is how to code it, I'm not relying on any kit for this. So I'm going to be teaching you how to code him randomly moving around, and when he gets hungry, him walking to the food bowl. Uh, so let's get straight into it. Uh, so, let's get a classic house. Um, let's get this, and I also, it's important for some later code, to make this as close to the center of the map as possible, we'll get back to that later. So just set this to zero, zero, uh, or, well, I messed that up. Uh, zero, zero, then that. And let's uh, raise the spawn location just to right outside the house. And then we'll lower it a little bit. Okay, so let's, let's so my game, the game I'm making, uh, is called Raise a Red Cube. So that's what we're doing. We are making a red cube. Yeah, you could do whatever you want. You could, you could put a bunch of decals and textures on it. It doesn't really matter uh, what it is or how it looks. Uh, let's also get a light in here. The classic house is really dark. Uh, you should also anchor it. If you use that classic house, even that is, you don't have to use this at all. So let's let's actually put the light up on the roof so it doesn't affect the inner aesthetics. So we have our little part here, and we're going to rename this to human or uh, humanoid root part. And then you want to duplicate this humanoid root part, and you want to group the two humanoid root parts. And then you want to get the, uh, you want to pick one of these, it doesn't really matter. And then you want to hold shift and make it as small as possible. So, like, really, really small. And then basically we want to trick Roblox Studio into thinking this is like an NPC. So uh, let's also call this model square. So let's change the name of this to head, and then let's duplicate it and change the name of that to torso. And let's duplicate it and change the name of that to right leg. And then let's duplicate that and, ch and let's duplicate this and change the name of that to right arm. Let's duplicate this left arm then left leg okay so uh you're gonna want to need you're gonna need a plugin for this called moon animator i'll leave the link to it in the description you want to open this little gear this is called easy weld it's very very useful for game development you want to go to parts here and then you want to select your human art root part and then you want to hold control down and select torso head every other part then you want to hit join in place. Basically, this means they're all linked together. And just uh, to make sure, let's just set these to transparent. And so now, whenever the, the square moves around in the game, it will take all the other parts with it. OK, so let's get into the random movement. So let's add a script to our square. We want to do, uh, we're going to do local human or uh, humanoid equals script.parent, and then we're going to add a humanoid to our square. script.parent.humanoid. And then we are going to do while uh, wait three do. And I'm not uh, going to, I keep forgetting this line. I'm not even going to like make an excuse. So we're just going to copy this from my text document here. So basically what this does is it just sets a random position for our little cube to move in every couple of seconds. Let's just hit run and he should move around randomly. As you can see, he just picks a random spot every few seconds and he moves to it. Um, this is just like to make the game feel a little bit more lively, right? The actual Rays of Plapa game does something very similar to this. As you can see, he's having a little jolly time. So now let's make the hunger. So let's actually get a food bowl because uh, I'm not going to model that myself. That would be embarrassing. I'm a programmer, not a modeler. <laughs> OK, so let's go to workspace. Let's in in insert an integer value. We're going to rename this to hunger. And then we are going to uh, insert a script in a workspace. And we're going to call this needs handler. And then we are going to do local hunger equals game.workspace.hunger. Okay, so now we're going to do while wait three, do, 
um, and then we're going to do hunger.value equals hunger.value minus one. So basically every three seconds, the, uh, 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 sorry, minus one, not equals one, um, the hunger ticks down one. You could change this to 10 seconds and the hunger will tick down one every 10 seconds, but I think three is pretty balanced. And you, honestly, if it went down every two seconds, that wouldn't even be bad either. So now let's make a hologram above our NPC. So let's duplicate uh, our human order part. Let's move it up. Let's delete all the welds inside the human order part and let's rename this to hologram. And let's make this invisible. Let's turn uh, can collide off. And then let's insert a billboard GUI inside of it. And then a text label. And then let's do text scale. Let's do uh, cartoon. And then let's set this to one. And then let's, it doesn't really matter. It can still say label, but we'll just do hunger display. That's what we'll put the, in the text. And then we're gonna put a script inside of it. And it's gonna say, it's gonna say, wow, wait, one, do, or it could actually do be three, but let's just do one. And we're gonna do script.parent.text equals script.parent, or not equal, okay, so equals. And then we're gonna do quotes. And then we're gonna do hunger and then space, and then we're going to do dot dot game dot workspace dot hunger dot value, and then we're going to do dot dot, and then a percentage. This is what it looks like. I'll give you a second to look at it. Um, and now, if we hit run, uh, actually, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Um, our hologram needs to be welded to our thing, so Select your human order root part, and then select your hologram and hit join in place. And then let's hit run. And it says 0%. Um, it's actually going down. I forgot to set it to 100, so let's set it to 100 now um, real quick. Just in, This is just only in game. So as you can see, it slowly ticks down, and he moves around. So let's actually set this to 100. And then now we need to make him, when he gets hungry, he has to go and eat. So let's go over to our food bowl here. Let's add a part. Make it bigger. Set it to transparent. Turn can collide off. Now let's call this bowl. So this is just the parameter for the bowl. So let's go back to our little guy here. Um, and let's do, let, so we're gonna have to add a lot of code to this. So I'm not going to explain pathfinding. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube how to make pathfinding. Uh, so I'm just going to paste in a bunch of pathfinding code. So basically, um, we need pathfinding. Uh, we need pathfinding. So say we have a couch. All right, say we have a couch. So pathfinding, I'll explain you pathfinding, and I'll explain you why we need it. So say we have a couch here. Right, this old, old rusty couch. So basically, the way he randomly moves around is he just picks a spot and he walks straight to it, right? So say he picks a spot across the couch. Well, he'll just walk into the couch. So pathfinding will, will tell him that he can't walk into the couch. He won't get there that way. Pathfinding will make a bunch of little points that he needs to walk to to achieve his goal, which is reaching the food bowl. So now that we got that out of the way, here's what we're going to do. We are going to go here. And then while wait, we're gonna add an if statement. So if, we're actually gonna add, do local hunger uh, equals game.workspace.hunger. If hunger.value, then we're gonna do a little alligator and then 30, then so basically what this means is it means if 30 is uh, bigger than hunger.value, it will do what's after this. So um, we are going to do walk to then game.workspace.bowl. And then we're gonna add an else. We are going to paste our uh, other move to in there. It's getting deleted, so you wanna make sure it's anchored. I will actually anchor our couch too. So hit uh, hit run. And it's under 20%. You should realize this. Okay, 
I s spelled the humanoid root part wrong. That's great. Oh, my mistake was I misspelled the humanoid root part here. I had to fix some of the code. So now he walks over to the food bowl. We are going to put a script in the bowl, and it's this. Uh, I took this from my other Raise Floppa game where I was testing all the code used in this video. Um, so basically, here's what it does. It, when the bowl is touched, it, uh, it, it does a function. It checks if the, part, if the name of the part uh, is in a model called square. And then it checks if the hunger is below 30 because sometimes he can accidentally just walk into the bowl. So we need to make sure he's intending to eat. And then we need to make sure the bowl's full. Then we need to feed him. So if we hit run, he will walk over to the bowl. Okay, sorry. <laughs> if it is full, we'll change this to is full. And then he will walk, walk over to the bowl. And his hunger is now 100. Uh, he should walk away in a minute. Yeah, as you can see, it, it took him a minute, but he, he, he did walk away. He would have walked away even if he was at the food bowl. So let's set so let's set this to 20. And the bowl is not full anymore, or the value isn't full. So he'll walk over to it, and he can't get food. So say you are you fill it right now. Say he gets uh, hunger. So um, let's okay. So I, I think it's worth adding a little bit of a polish thing here, uh, just to make sure it's better. So when it checks if it's full. If it's not, um, we want it to, okay, so we're going to go here, we're going to copy this code, and we're going to do uh, game.workspace.square.humanoid. So basically, if the bowl isn't full, like we'll, we'll set this to false, so if the bowl isn't full, he'll just walk away, uh, but he'll keep going back to it. The reason he walks away is so the touch event is triggered again. So if you fill it uh, while his hunger is low, he can go back and get food. So if we fill it now, he'll get the food. Um, we'll actually tell him to walk away after he gets the food. So here's what happens. So he's hungry. He goes to the food bowl get some food, and then he walks away. We'll actually uh, tell him to stay at the food bowl for a little longer. So we'll do wait uh, 0 0.5, and then we'll hit run. So he's hungry right now. He's going to walk over to the food bowl, get some food, and then walk away. I walk into the couch, apparently. Um, so yeah, that this is part one in my tutorial series on how to code raise a floppa. So... This is my little red square. He's having a great day. Uh, I hope you're having a great day too. If this, if this video helped you in any way, please be sure to subscribe, leave a like, comment, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.